In this problem, we need to write the augmented matrix for this system of three equations in three variables. When you're writing the augmented matrix, it's very, very important that the, all the equations are organized in the same fashion. We need to have all our x's underneath each other, all our y's underneath each other, all our z's underneath each other, our equals underneath each other, and our constants. But this one is wonderful. It's already totally organized for you. So we're ready to write the augmented matrix. In the augmented matrix, we're going to have a coefficients on one side, and then we're going to have a vertical line and our constants on the other. So now we're ready to write the matrix. Remember, it's always in square brackets. Row 1, 8, 2, 8. Those are my coefficients. I'm going to have a vertical line for the equals, and then I'm going to put my negative 26 on the other side. So I'm going to have 8, 2, 8. Those are my coefficients, and on the other side is going to be my constant for the first row. Now let's look at my second equation. That's going to give me my second row. What are my coefficients? 4, 5, negative 2, and my constant's going to be negative 11. So 4, 5, negative 2, and negative 11. Last equation is my last row. What are the coefficients? 9, 5, 4, and my constant negative 27. So I have 9, 5, 4, negative 27. And so this is pretty easy. I think the hard part is finding the correct answer. So let's look at answer A. Row 1 looks correct. Row 2 looks correct. Row 3 looks correct. So right now, A looks like a pretty good choice. But on a problem like this, I definitely check it. And that looking at this one, the constants are in the wrong place, so this one definitely won't work. Looking at C, is row 1 correct? No, these two terms are wrong. Looking at D, Looking at row 1, well, we're missing a whole column in this whole matrix. Because it only has three columns, we need four columns. Therefore, our answer is definitely A.